Zoo is the only company in the world introducing generative AI to the CAD process. CAD being hardware design, historically driven by a user with the mouse. Now you can use the mouse, you can use prompts, introducing that MO world you see getting into every other sector today. What makes Zoo different from previous CAD design tools? That point and click model where it's a human essentially playing connect the dots on the screen, drawing every line, every arc, every circle to generate the design. And that's insanely bottlenecked by human throughput with a mouse. So our question is once you train these ML models to not only generate features for you, but also query and interact with that data set, it completely changes the paradigm where now you can have an AI agent perhaps changing a design for you, but you can also have AI agents querying through your data, searching by geometric features, searching by engineering data, where LLMs can't do that today. Now you can have anyone at the company, maybe a salesperson, a supply chain person, a technician on the factory floor, do a prompt that says, you know, what is the size of this feature we made five years ago? What mold did we use for this part that I saw on the factory floor? And that wave is coming where it's AI, not just for engineering design automation, but automation for everything that's on the periphery of that as well, where those enterprises with those large scale data problems tend to fall as if the big the bigger your data set, the bigger the historic data set, the more you need that data problem solved, more than just actually the labor bottleneck of generating the designs.